The Alt key unlocks a hidden world of shortcut keys in Excel. Press the Alt key and little black letters appear across the ribbon. And today I'm walking you step by step through how to turn those little black letters into shortcut keys in Excel. And stick around to the end where I show you how to add your own Alt shortcut keys using the quick access toolbar. But before we get started, let me know in the comments, what else can I help you with in Excel? While you're at it, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much, and let's get started right now. When I press the Alt key, little black letters appear across the ribbon, and pressing a letter activates the corresponding part of the ribbon. So Alt H opens up the Home tab, and H again brings up the cell theme colors. I can continue to add, navigate this with my arrow keys and press Enter to activate. Alt F brings up the File menu, and the Alt keys continue to work here as well. So P brings up the Print menu. I'll press Escape to get back, and T opens up Excel options. Then you can continue to navigate Excel using menus like this. So I can press Alt M to select and unselect the Show Mini Toolbar on selection, and I don't even know what that does, but it's all based on the underlined letter in the menu. So likewise, I can press Control C and then Alt E S to bring up the Paste Special menu. And based on those underlying letters, V lets you paste special values, T lets you paste special formats. And depending on the version of Excel you use, the Alt shortcuts will differ. I use Microsoft 365. And so these are some of the best Alt shortcut keys in that version of Excel. Alt H A C center aligns the contents of your cell. Alt H I S inserts a new sheet. And control page down will take me back to the next sheet on the right. Alt N V T inserts a pivot table. And if you highlight a range of cells, Alt P R S sets the print area. Now something I'm doing all the time is Alt W V G to hide and unhide grid lines. And then Alt W F F freezes panes. So that row stays in place even when you scroll down. Alt A P N F F imports data from a folder. And I said I would show you how to add your own Alt key shortcuts so the first way to do that is File, Options, and Quick Access Toolbar. And you wanna add things to the Quick Access Toolbar that you're doing all the time. So I'm gonna go up here to choose popular commands from. I'm always in this Insert tab, inserting a pivot table. So I'm gonna go down here to uh, Pivot Table and then click Add and click OK. So now you can see Pivot Table here. If you're not seeing your Quick Access Toolbar, just right click up here and go to show quick access toolbar. And so now I can press Alt one and then enter to enter a pivot table since I added it to the quick access toolbar, but there's a better way to add things. I'm always adding borders. So I'm gonna to go to the border section here and I'm gonna right click and just press add this line color to quick access toolbar. Similarly, we go back here and right click on all borders and I'm gonna add that to the quick access toolbar. And so now I can highlight a range of cells and press Alt 2 to select the color of my borders and then Alt 3 to apply those borders quickly. And if you're still here, I think you're gonna like this video where I cover my top 65 shortcuts in Excel. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time.